Pitfall number one, making long and tedious templates. It is tempting to make long and complex unit and lesson planning templates for instruction. This is especially true when you're first trying to formalize the planning process. This could be for yourself or for teachers of your department. Unfortunately, this often leads to a lack of interest in planning curriculum. And in the worst case, you may start new plans, but end up leaving most sections empty. So, start simple first. Make templates that push you to answer the most important curriculum, instruction, and assessment questions. And only when you feel like you need to go one step further, add sections and subsections to your templates. Pitfall number two. Trying to understand and use ideal teaching and learning models. Do any of your peers ever introduce you to some idea in teaching and learning that makes you wonder, why didn't I know about this before? Even though the study of learning is not a science as old as physics or geology, it has been around for much of the last century. This means that there are hundreds of theories, models, and methods on how to teach and how students learn. Learning them and remembering their names is an endless process. If you or your institution's teachers haven't been teaching for several years already, you may consider a suggestion. Instead of introducing many teaching and learning models, stick to some basic teaching and learning principles. We've linked a resource to guide you below. These basic principles make up all the advanced niche-seeming models of learning. Complement these basic ideas with new research findings on how to teach your subject well. Such findings are often not packaged as teacher training, so you may have to put in some work to find these. Avoiding these couple of pitfalls should help you focus on your students' needs.